Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted, it is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The city of Basel, known so much for its beauty, and that beauty certainly extends to the stadium. as friendly as it can be in the circumstances that you feel the rivalry well I think we know what we're in for whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet losing really isn't an option making this another intense feisty clash which should keep everyone on edge the fans are more nervous than the players to me confirming an atmosphere of, of angst try telling them there's nothing riding on this There's the whistle. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Stocker. And it's Stocker. Loses his balance and loses the ball. to locate someone up front. It's come loose. Stocker. And here's Stocker. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Stocker. Good spell of possession, this, but... Very little to show for it. Gets into a dangerous position. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Ball is over the line. He's played him through. Looks to bypass the midfield. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Stocker. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. He's got through. 
A really good feat from him. And it's played forward. Oh, it's a searing run. He is a man on a mission. And that has been cleared. Looking to hit the front line. Forward it goes. With a delicate ball. Had to be more accurate. Heading towards half time, and it is still scoreless. Just brushed off the ball there. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Tries to get it clear. Stocker. Tries to get it forward quickly. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Here it comes. Oh, good interception. He's got options out wide. Oh, that's neat. Can he deliver? And out it comes again. There's the end of the first half, so both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb, very, very organised. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. FC Basel clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. The referee's awarded a free kick. Lovely feet. And it's Stocker. Stocker goes looking. Away from immediate danger. Gets it back. Hoists it high. Hoists it forward. Has he found his man? Now it's Stocker. Soleimani. Up towards the hour mark and still no goals. Hit into the middle. Repelled by the keeper. 
good challenge. He just stood firm. Plays it out to the wing. Played into space out wide. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Out towards the flank. And he just whacks it away. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. Hoists it forward. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Soleimani and he's on a charge oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach closing in on the last quarter of an hour forward it goes comes under pressure and it's come loose And it's played forward. Stocker plays it over to the other flank. Oh, real has a hit! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave, and I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. It's being played forward. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Sees it all the way. And that's a throw. Young boys have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Over to the left, Stocker. Fires it, he's gone for it! Oh, what about that? Finally, finally, finally! What about that, Jim Beglin? 
It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Basel take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. And it's played forward. And there goes the final whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Well, how will we look back on that? FC Basel made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always...